in the previous video, we created our data table. So that contains the server ID, IP address, name, map, current players, and max players of that server. So now what we want to do is we want to create a procedure that we can pass parameters into that will automatically create a new table with the, uh, with the passed in parameters. So it'll be pretty much just like calling a function. So in order to do that, we'll go over here to stored procedures, right click, create a stored procedure. And let's change the name to, oh, what should we call it? Add server entry. All right, now inside of the opening closing parentheses, that's where you add in your parameters. So a little tip, we can click on server data and it'll list all of the uh, names of the tables right there. So we can do server ID and then the type, which is int. Then do a comma and that'll uh, allow us to add several. But what I want to do is I want to index each name in the as a parameter with an underscore. So that'll keep it kind of separated so we can just do a direct comparison. So like, okay, underscore server ID clearly means it's going for server ID. It's just for clean, like a clean way to do it. So now we do underscore IP address and it's a var char, size 15, server name, size 25, App name, 25, current players, int, and max players, int. And that's all for the parameter. So now under begin, this is where the, kind of like the function starts. So this is where we would have our code essentially. What we want to do is we want to take all these and insert them into server data. So we're going to do insert into server data, then we list the parameters. So server ID, IP address, server name, app name, current players and max players, and then we do values, and here's our values. So we're going to do server ID, IP address, server name, map name, current players, and max players, all of our local variables. So once that's done, we can hit apply, apply, finish. Then I'm going to go ahead and refresh it, right click, click refresh all procedures. And now we're ready to test it. So what we can do is we go to server data, right click, Hit select rows and we can see the data or that little table so as it gets filled out entries will be created in here whenever we refresh so what i want to do is i want to make a way to test this so if we go underneath file we'll see create a new sql tab for executing, uh, executing queries press that and here we can do it so the way you would execute a query or a procedure i mean is to just simply do call then the procedure name add server entry, and then pass in the parameters. So first one being the ID, I'm just gonna put, let's do, I don't know, 10. Then the address, 127.0.0.1. Server name, my server name, my map name, and current players, one, max players, four. So once that's done, we click the little lightning bolt and we execute it. So now when we come back to server data, hit refresh, we have an entry with the parameters that we passed in. So we see the ID, the IP address, server name, map name, current players, and max players. So whenever we execute this from our web API in C Sharp, we're essentially gonna be passing in our own parameters that it will take in. So now that we have our procedure made, we can go ahead and link this up in our web API and attempt to call this procedure. So I'll see you then.